Ben with Empower Gaming Computers here. Welcome to our Pro Tech Tip series, where we try to share tech tips in hopes that they help someone with their build experience. Today, we're going to talk about DDR5. I know that I already released a video about DDR5 early in 2022, but I wanted to recap or refresh since AMD launched their 7000 series CPUs and then also make it part of the ProTac tip series. So just a few things that we want to just start off with. DDR5, things to know, hosting issues with quad channel. So I kind of touched on this in the last video. Really, if you are building with four sticks of DDR5, I have seen a lot of issues trying to post, just, just posting in general. So sometimes uh, if you do run into this problem and you are trying to post uh, while running quad channel, the recommendation is to take two sticks out, run the two sticks, get it to post, let the training finish, and then you should be able to then install your two additional sticks and then um, you'll have to adjust the speeds and try it and work it out so that it uh, or, or play with the speeds anyway and adjust some of the settings in the BIOS to get it to actually work at the speed that you're trying to target. You may not be able to run it at its full potential speed. So just for awareness, if you're going with quad channel, it is pretty buggy in my opinion. It's best just to try to stick with dual channel. That is my recommendation for now until DDR5 and BIOS uh, motherboard manufacturers, they start, they mature it. It will probably get better over time. Um, but it's just going to take time to mature there. Uh, higher speeds are more difficult to achieve. Kind of just touched on that a little bit there uh, in the last uh, bullet point. But most success that I've been having is with 5200 megahertz, 5600 megahertz. And that what I mean by that is I'm not really having to deal with going in and modifying much in the BIOS. I can really just set the XMP profile or the AMD Expo and we're good to go uh, within that range. If I'm trying to get higher than 6,000 megahertz uh, speeds, it doesn't always work out. So just be mindful of that. Maybe save some money right now while DDR5 is still maturing and just go with something like 5,200, 5,600 megahertz until it's matured. Unless you absolutely have to have the best of the best, <laughs> which I understand. So, um, just my recommendation to make it easier for you as you're rolling through DDR5. Also, before you enable XMP or AMD Expo, definitely update your BIOS. Even though it is new hardware, I can almost guarantee your motherboard has one, two, sometimes even three or four updates since it's been released. So definitely go to the manufacturer's website, download that BIOS, put it on a flash drive, and update it. It will, it will help you, or it'll probably resolve a lot of the bugs. So it, it will definitely help. Um, so I highly recommend it. Next, I kind of wanted to touch on this a little bit. I know my camera's kind of in a weird spot here. Let me adjust it. But the AMD Expo versus Intel XMP. I just wanted to explain this because I've seen this happen on so many different build groups on Facebook and whatnot, um, where people, hey, I've just built my DDR5 rig and I'm having so much trouble trying to get my RAM to work or I can't get it to post. And nine times out of 10, the issue is they purchased an Intel um, uh, processor and they're trying to run an Expo RAM, AMD certified Expo RAM or vice versa. Uh, they purchased an AMD processor and they're trying to run the Intel XMP RAM and they just can't get it to, uh, sometimes they just can't get even get to posts or they get it to post and they can't get the XMP to run anything more than just the base speed from, uh, from the motherboard. So it's, this is just something I want to point out and make a big clear statement on. If you are building, and I'm just going to switch the slide here because it's, we're going into it more. <laughs> But if we are building AMD, uh, so your AMD 7000 series, AM5, uh, you want to target your AMD Expo certified RAM kits. 
if you are building Intel 12th or 13th gen on both the 600 or 700 series, chip, series chipsets, motherboards, that, uh, and you're building DDR5, target DDR5 Intel XMP certified RAM kits. Um, going back one slide here, just touching on this, but you'll see the AMD Expo uh, icon on the packaging, uh, as well as your Intel XMP ready packaging. These will show up on your packaging, so if you're in a store shopping and you're looking for it, that's what you want to look for. Uh, if you are shopping online for like for example on Amazon it should be in the detail of the product if it's not I'm sorry but these sellers um, resellers of these products need to make sure that this detail is in there because it's important when you are building your system that if you are building AMD get an AMD Expo certified RAM kit if, you're bar if you are building Intel get your Intel XMP certified RAM kit so they need to make sure that detail is in there or I would say just don't buy it. <laughs> That's what you should be looking for. Um, but it's extremely important because they are kits that are certified specifically for AMD Expo. And I'll touch on Expo here in just a second. But uh, And then same thing with Intel, Intel RAM kits that are specifically certified to work with your Intel CPU, uh, which are both a little different uh, the way they work. Um, so that's important to know, especially when you're going out buying your hardware or planning a build. That's what you need to be looking for. Uh, moving on to the next piece, which I wanted to talk, just touch a little bit on Expo. A lot of new builders or even some experienced builders may not even know what Expo is because it's not really something people talk about much. Um, technically, it's new, but it really isn't. Uh, this is something that was similar to what AMD was doing back at DDR4. Uh, where they had AMD XMP ready kits versus it, it's basically the same thing. All it is, it, Expo, all it is is just extended profile for overclocking. That is the abbreviation for it. It's basically AMD's version of XMP. <laughs> that's, it's one click overclocking. That's all it is. And that's what XMP profile is. It is one click overclocking. So it simplifies the overclocking so you don't have to go through and mess with any specific uh, voltage or timings or anything on the in the BIOS. So you don't have to be a complete nerd and achieve your uh, RAM uh, advertised speeds. So all AM5 boards, just to specify, which is the B650 and your um, X670s, um, all of those boards are AMD Expo ready. So they all support AMD Expo. So if you are building with an AMD CPU and a B5, B650 or X670, uh, whichever DDR5 board you're going with, um, just, in, just locate a DDR5 um, AMD Expo certified RAM kit. That is going to be, that is going to give you the best results. That's my recommendation for AMD. Same thing, like I said previously, Intel, go with the Intel XMP ready RAM kits. Um, best results. So just a quick recap. Um, if you are building with AMD, just like I said, make sure you are looking for an AMD Expo certified RAM kit. If you are building with Intel 12th gen or 13th gen, and you're using DDR5, be sure to look for an Intel XMP certified RAM kit. And my recommendation, my just my personal experience, I've had most success with dual, dual channel. So if you are building with, you know, let's say you want to achieve uh, 64 gigs, go with dual channel where it's two sticks. You have, uh, instead of say four 16 gig sticks, you're going to do 232 gig sticks to achieve 64 in dual channel because that's two sticks. Quad channel is four sticks. Dual channel is two sticks, just for clarity. Stick with dual channel for now. Wait for DDR5 to mature a little bit. And eventually, I believe DDR5 is going to become easier to use and we won't have as many of these issues. It was the same experience with DDR4 when that launched way back when. Purchase uh, 5200, 5600 megahertz. That's another recommendation. And that's just to simplify things because I've just seen too many issues trying to achieve like 6,000 plus megahertz speeds 
and that's just a recommendation to simplify it. You'll run into less issues at 52, 5600 megahertz. That's, that's all it is. If you need to go faster on the RAM, I don't blame you. Go for it, try it, but it's not been 100% successful. So just keep that in mind. You're going into something that could be an annoyance or <laughs> frustration. So just my recommendation, 5200, 5600 megahertz. And definitely update your BIOS before you enable your XMP or your AMD Expo. Always just good practice anyway. Anytime you build your PC or build a new PC, you should be going to the manufacturer's website for your motherboard, downloading your BIOS, and then doing the update. It takes a few minutes and it solves and probably corrects a ton of bugs. So my recommendation, um, and definitely read the notes on the update. It'll kind of go into more detail of what exactly is being changed. And just know every time you do an update, it factory resets because you're updating the BIOS, so you'll have to go in and make any other changes that you previously made back into the BIOS once it's completed. Tons of videos out there to do that will walk you through how to do a BIOS update. Um, and I might even add one here uh, in the future, but uh, with the Protect. Protect tip series. Blah, 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 blah. Um, then last, wait for DDR5 motherboard BIOS manufacturers and just DDR5 in general, uh, just wait for it to mature. Just be patient. It's going to t it's going to take a while. This is new hardware on top of new software on top of new hardware, all being combined at once. And it's just going to take time for everything to mature and uh, eventually start working the way it should. So, but that is pretty much it. That pretty much everything you should know about DDR5 as of today, uh, which today is 12, 17, 2022. And uh, those are my recommendations, my advice when you are building with DDR5. I hope this helps somebody. Um, I hope somebody takes some sort of value out of these videos that I, I do plan to continue doing. Um, and uh, liking, sharing, um, all those. Uh, you could definitely uh, reach out to us if you have any questions. Uh, you reach out to us on any of our socials, our email, which is support at empowergamingpcs.com if you do have any questions or need any assistance. We're always happy to help. So happy building, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, have a good day.